emergency, what service do you require? Police, please. What's the nature of the emergency? It's my neighbour Polly. I think she's missing. Now, I didn't see her on Wednesday. I didn't see her on Thursday. I didn't see her on Friday. Madam, madam it's best you contact your local police station. The police didn't seem very interested. So when I saw you on one of your American telly shows... You made a decision to seek the truth. Thank you so much for coming, Christoph. Please call me Christ. Barbara, do you have a photo of Polly I could use? Oh, yes, of course. Um, now, oh, now this one was taken just last month. Do you have a less recent photo? Um, there's this holiday shop from when she was much younger, but... Perfect. In cases like this, the public can get fired up. That can lead to a witch hunt, and a witch hunt can lead to a wrongful conviction. He's never been accused of anything before, has he, Brian? No. Sick of this. Um, I said no olives. Uh, this this will be the last time. This will be the last time. What do you think she meant by that? Probably just because of the olives. In cases like this, the public can get fired up very quickly. Then that can lead to a witch hunt, and a witch hunt can lead to a wrongful conviction. According to the statistics, the most common profile for wrongful convictions is a white, heterosexual male aged between 25 and 35. Um, they often live alone, low-key social life. And these are the sort of men that they like to keep themselves to themselves. According to our research, that narrows down to just one person, someone named Tom Jessup. And you're saying that it's only a matter of time before he's accused of murder? You, well, no, 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 not, not necessarily. But statistically speaking... He's screwed. There's a, a higher probability that he might be wrongfully accused of murder. How high a probability? Say, 100%? No. About 100% probability? Well, that would mean that he's definitely going to be accused of murder. He is. What? Oh, yeah, Tom's a lovely young man. Has Tom ever been wrongfully accused of a crime before? What? Has he been accused of this? Not yet, but it's just a matter of time. A local resident started a poster campaign today to try and stop people from accusing someone called Tom Jessup of being involved in the disappearance of Polly Worcester. I just think it's ridiculous. Tom's a lovely young man. He would never do a thing like this. Am I right in thinking, though, that Mr Jessup has not actually been accused of anything? Not yet, but it's just a matter of time. Mr Jessup, can we have two minutes of your time, please? Yeah. Are you aware of the campaign for your innocence? The what? In the disappearance of Polly Worcester? Oh, I don't know who that is. Your neighbour. Oh, her? Um, oh, she's missing. Blimey. Sorry, hang on. Innocence campaign? Da, 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 da. Vicious murder. Vicious murder. Live alone. Only 
Suspect. Only suspect. Tell me, Tom, did you ever have any disagreements with Polly? I didn't really know her, to be honest. I mean, she parked a car across the drive sometimes. That's quite annoying. But never enough to brutally or viciously murder her, like throw her off a cliff or pour lime on her or punch her in the face. Oh, no, God, no. Hydrochloric acid. Sorry, hang on. Do we even know if she's been killed? Not yet, but it's just a matter of time. Right, and I'm the one being accused of killing her. Not yet, but it's just a matter of time. Right, so you're defending the innocence of a man who isn't actually being accused of a crime we don't even know has happened. <laughs> you're welcome. Right, cool. Uh, well, if you excuse me, I've, I've got to get to work now. Oh, great. We should totally shoot that. I'll ride with you. No, I'm done. No, we're finished. I just, I just want you to leave. Shotgun, I called it. In what? What? I go on the bus. I don't know what you're showing. Well, hey, we got our the Nettie case notes, end of day one. After meeting Tom, I'm even more convinced of his innocence. This cherub, this wonderful person, if he's going to be accused of this crime, it'll be a sad day for justice. Not only here in Britain, but for the entire world. I feel like there's... Fuchs, I asked you people to leave. What are you doing? Well, indoors is better for sound. I don't care. Get out. All, All right, right, let's do it in the dining room, guys. No, we're not doing it in the dining room. Get okay, out. Okay, let's go in the kitchen. Just get out, mate, yeah? What's the best way to prove a man's innocence? Reconstructions have often been shown to make a difference. I can prove that you were not responsible for Polly's murder. You mean a disappearance? Exactly.